Hello, I'm Ellie from LEG Art Designs. Thank you for joining my channel and welcome. Um, I'm going to be continuing with the brush stroke technique. Um, still developing my own skills in that and looking at different colour palettes with it. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Uh, thank you for those who had made some lovely comments to say so. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy this one as well. Um, yeah, well, let's get messy and paint. Spraying my canvas uh, and giving it a bit of a brush. Got some lines there to sort of guide me a little bit to the sort of composition I am wanting to create. Um, I'm laying some white down and some brown. I, I'm really trying to create uh, a beigey sort of colour here. I don't really want brown, but just using the white and the brown to create that and uh, just trying to form some shading with that give it a bit of a blend and just laying my first color for the base so this is basically the color that I use for the whole painting it's a beautiful color I do love this color so much um, yeah now I, I must say that the journey of this was uh, a little bit yeah get it right looks lovely and then you go and try something else and then it, you ruin it and then you've got to go over it again I said in my last video the good thing about this is that you can actually go over what you've created if you don't like it you can do while it's wet you can just go over it and just recreate it to to you know a point where you like it um, so this is really a background um, part of the background I think if you watched my last video, I did sort of say that I wish I had more in the background. So I guess this time I wanted to make sure I did uh, put more in the background. Using the Catalyst Wedge again, which did in the end end up being a little bit pointless because I, I went over it all. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> you go with the flow. <laughs> Hope you can't hear the lawnmower in the background. Sorry about that to wait for peace will never happen <laughs> so again just trying to fill a little bit of gradient uh, with the background uh, giving a bit of a lighter green color it's all trial and error it, you know you you give it a go sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't So I'm now trying to create uh, that top coat and giving it a nice light colour. I just love that stroke and just the layering of, of gradient with the other colour. And again, just bringing in that darker colour over the white, it really just makes it stand out. And just stretching that out a bit more. one was a bit of a mess hey but you can go over it <laughs> fix it up until you get what you want 
I haven't quite mastered adding the white to keep that white contrast, but um, I'll keep working at it. I did deliberately want to not have this plant in the center of the picture. As you can see, we did do a jump. Um, I did make some changes and didn't turn the camera on. Um, but, you know, just added a couple of more layers there, um, a couple of more leaves, um, and it sort of sort of jumped out at you when it jumped, didn't it? Well, it did to me anyway. Just doing those backward strokes again, which I really do love. Still trying to add more into the background. And giving it that contrast. Now, whilst I do really like that brush, um, that stroke there, it just didn't fit with the stroke underneath. So um, I did end up fixing it later. A few more strokes added. I think if I was to give you real time on every stroke I did, this would go for a very long time. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of jumping around. I'm just adding some gold. I guess I was feeling at this point that the painting's nearly finished and let's just add a top color of gold. Another brush stroke there. Trying to fix that middle, um, but I just ended up giving it too much layer effect there, and um, and here I clean it up. All right, looks a lot cleaner. <laughs> um, and I really do like that middle brush stroke. So here it is, um, just a bit of a close-up to show the more detail, uh, still wet of course.
gold looks lovely there and I'm overall happy with the background too I sort of feel it has enough interest in it um, so here I'm doing the embellishment so I decided not to do a gold embellishment it took me a little while to decide which one to do um, I'm actually using a little bit of a squeezy bottle that has a really fine needle on it and I've just filled it with some house paint um, so I can draw on it and the house paint is a little bit thicker so it does leave it a little bit, a bit textured as well so I'm just giving it some branches um, over it now I may have overdone the embellishment I don't know it might just be what people like what people don't like I don't know um, I do love the embellishment but I think it would have looked really nice if it was behind the main feature uh, rather than over the top of it but again you know you live and learn once the embellishments down there is no going over it, it is what it is uh, especially with this one because it's um, textured so you can't really paint over it not with a thin paint anyway so I'm just drawing some leaves with my very fine needle kind of squeezy bottle I think they're used for uh, inks um, because they're so fine but I'm not sure if you know what they're used for let me know <laughs> and speed things up just to make sure it's not too long I do love the white over it it really stands out but did I go over what should be the main focal point being the brush strokes underneath I don't know tell me your thoughts should I have put them underneath the plant or is on top of the plant doable Of course I'm doing this sped up I'm not really that quick at it so that's pretty much it and that's just a picture of it all dry uh, thank you for watching we'll see you next time